The departure schedule will be emailed to everybody. Okay, let's start the ninth round. Good luck to your games. Please start your talks. Oh, welcome back everyone. So three rounds to go, right? It's round number nine and we once again cover the game of Magnus Carlsen. Uh, this time it's Are Magnus... Are face uh, Gregorian? Sergei Gregorian's from Russia. Yeah. Right. And no London system this time. So D4 and then... Or was it C4? Looks like an English opening to me or something really weird. How come this queen is, was on d4? Really it was c4. c4. C4, e5, knight f3. Knight f3? Uh, knight c3, sorry. Knight c3, knight f6. e3 and bishop e4 it was. Okay. Okay, so what do we, what do we have now? I mean, it actually looks like uh, one of those, interestingly enough, one of those positions from Budapest Gambit. Uh, when after d4, knight f6, c4, black plays e5. And there is one very solid line for white, where white doesn't really try to keep the extra pawn, but gives knight h3, knight f4. Mm -hmm. So this time, knight went to f4 via e2, but still looks like a very nice position. White controls the d5 square, that's important. Right. And last move, knight h5, knight. it's also about d5 square, so he wants to exchange not the knight from g6, but the knight from f6. The knight which supports black's d7, d5. Bishop takes d6. d6. Now Magnus is going to castle. Uh, well, a position with slight pressure for white, I would say. Mm -hmm. Where this... Yeah, okay. It goes on b2. I was asking about uh, the, the bishop, bishop on, on c1. c1. It goes yeah, on so b2, b3, probably. Bishop will go to b2. Well, honestly, I don't really think it's such a problematic position for black. I mean, after all... He has all the pieces fine, right? Mm -hmm. Bishop goes to f6 now. White has to play bishop d5. It's a pin, right? And then d5. D5. Uh, it's about played. the pin, I, I think. Now bishop can take on d5 and knight can take on d5. Because yeah, that's bishop, the bishop takes. Okay. Now we are talking. Bishop takes. Black uh, no longer has I any issues. And it feels like it's white. Yeah, queen c2. Like this move. So defending the bishop on b2. Defending the bishop on b2. Oh, Magnus was threatening to take on d5 once again. In his hands, a pair of bishops is the real thing. So it's not for nothing. I, I, <laughs> we I, I saw call, that many I call knight takes d5 a threat. Yeah, bishop yeah. comes <laughs> back to e2. And. Well, it's very good. The opening went perfect for black. I mean, the position is nice. Mm -hmm. But you have to make moves, you have to come up with some sort of a plan. And, well, there is one advantage for Magnus that is clear. It's an extra minute on his clock, right? All right. Maybe the position yeah. is equal, but Time yeah, is very still you have, to, in the you have to play. And, and we've seen, like, uh, you, you know, the very best of positions being spoiled in the, in the time yeah, trouble. All the seconds, right. In time trouble. Well, uh, you know what? We have to keep an eye on the second board as well because we've been concentrated on mm -hmm. Magnus Carlsen but you know what second happens on the second board, board? it's Kariakin Kariakin against Yosipenko yeah. so the same two the same <laughs> color and you know those of you who were watching the rapid portion obviously Queen B3 from Yosipenko was you That's know like a best. really a mind blower move like wow mm -hmm. so I'm wondering what's going to be the result I believe Kariakin is furious he's looking for a revenge What's sad? I mean, youngster beating me in such mm -hmm. a, you know, in such a way. 
Uh, okay, so what happens there? So, so far as I can only see that Black spends time and he doesn't seem to no, improve his position. He's forced to play uh, rook a7 if he doesn't want to give up this a5 pawn. Oh, so far b3 is uh, hanging, so he, mm. theoretically he can go rook b8. Neither of those moves is that pleasant, right? So he ended up playing rook a7. Now white apparently will try to fight for d-file with one what of the rooks going... What do you think about going... b4? Yeah, B4, but yeah, what, what I don't like to get about, the A, A, A file. Yeah, I understand. But what I don't what? like about B4 that you actually help this rook from A7, the rook which is out of play, you ah, help it to to, to be exchanged. Yeah. Yes, so that's why that's I thought right. maybe you go rook D1 and you try, you know, you know, kind of try to use the fact that the rook is stuck on A7. H6 is a profit. H6. Move. Um, well, now the question is if uh, if you take on D8 or do something else and by something else yeah i actually mm, meant to move like bishop c4 mm. maybe once again trying to change the structure because now with knight on b6 the rook is really stuck there mm -hmm. on a7 in case of black taking on c4 yeah. does white wants to take I with think, the pawn I think the pawn takes and then that's c5 what that's what i thought the pawn takes then c5 trying to lock this rook forever on a7 uh well again out of nothing he can get no, no, no he takes C4. with the knight. No, takes with the knight. pawn is hanging. Uh, it's a pressure on a5 pawns, and Magnus doesn't like, you know, doesn't like to create pawn weaknesses, even though it looked very attractive to me. Mm -hmm. For me too. Yeah, well, now, still, white is, I'd say, white is somewhat better, but it's not Let's that see. visible anymore. So rook comes back to eight. Rook comes back to eight. Uh, a4, so now a5 Fixed is, you know, a5 is five. weak forever. But black can play knight e7, try to get this knight to e4, to, how about b5? What's b5? Take on d8, queen yeah, should take surprising. on d8. Queen takes, a takes, c takes, white is winning a pawn like that. Knight takes a5, white is a pawn up. Queen it was a poor blunder, I think. No, no, just look, he's, uh, he's on, on like three seconds, so he's trying to ah. create some counter play. Actually, queen d5, knight h4, I kind of like, because the knight is stuck, you know. And now what do you do? f3, it's queen g5. I think, once again, Magnus has blundered something. Then okay, uh, too. But and then f3 is hanging. He has blundered the whole thing. Rook a2, knight f3, check. King goes, knight e5. Now it's black who is better. It's black who is better. Magnus has limited time on his clock. And, you know, rook d5 allowing... Well, first of all, it's a draw already with the check and knight f3. So he... Ah, uh, no, it's not a draw. The rook on d5 is lost. So he has to play king g3. Otherwise, he's losing. Knight to g5. And look at this knight, which is still stuck on a... Which is still stuck on a5. Queen takes b4 now. The knight is attacked. Knight c6. At least the knight is coming back to business. Knight c6. Now he can trade and take on b5 and he's already out of danger. He can trade and take on b5. But I look at the clock. It's four seconds only for Four black. seconds for Grigorian. So he, he well, he's really Rook pushing d8. it. Rook d8. Queen takes a knight e7. That's what Magnus is planning to do. Knight e7, threatening mate, mate and 3, 2, 1, queen e5, check. King goes back, check. It's a perpetual, I guess. I guess it's a perpetual, even though Magnus seemingly is trying to run away. He's trying to run away, but this is a risky business indeed. Check, and what do you do now? I mean, you have to avoid checks with the knight, because then knight e4, check, and you know, and the knight is just coming back to f6. No, it's true. Yeah, he, he really, really has to accept this draw. Really, really has to accept this draw, Magnus. King g1, check from a1. Yeah, and we've seen that already. Yeah, check from e5, and it's, uh, it's a draw for Magnus Carson yeah. and Sergei Grigorians. I'm immediately switching to board 2, just to Which see what Kariakin happens there. Which already won. Karyakin has already won by mating Yosipenko's king. Nice I'm not sure if it was... Oh, well, not exactly mate, right? There is knight g8, but he's, he's winning tons of material. Mm -hmm. He's They're winning tons of material. Uh, the game on... I'm not sure what Fimo? board it is in the female section. It's board two, must be. Yeah, second. Board must one, uh, crumbling, 
managed to win Dagny there. So, Kramlink is one of the leaders, I'm sure. Yeah, that seven and a half points. So, uh, soul, soul leader. leader. Yeah, the soul, soul leader. leader. So, uh, Zagnitsa had seven. Kramlink Link was the only on six and a half. And since Kramlink has won, she's the soul leader. Well, and someone in this game has lost on time. White has lost on time. <laughs> yeah. They just saw uh, it. Also they the were position, playing. right? Also the position because yeah. the, the knight on f6 is lost. White so, Valentina Gunina wins yeah. against Alexandra Goriachkina. How many points Gunina has? Already seven. Seven and no.